Let's crack, let's code with KidWrite. Part 4. Coding to make the KidWrite board multifunction. Watch and stopwatch. What are you doing? Is it a clock? That's so great! It can tell the time! Can it do anything else? The KidBright board can do several things at once. Did you know that? Come write command codes to make the clock be a stopwatch. Clock and stopwatch. Use switch one to switch between time mode and stopwatch. After reaching stopwatch mode, use switch two to start and stop the stopwatch. And now it's time for coding. It's easy if the clock is used just to show the time. Use the LED 16 by 8 scroll when ready command block. Use the time block. Don't forget to make a loop with the forever command block. If you want to have multifunctioning, go to the advanced tab and drag out the task command function. This allows each task to run separately. Start from the task of switch one. Use the function of the forever command then drag the if do command block to connect with the previous blocks. If switch one is pressed, what's it going to do? Is it to switch to time mode and stopwatch? Take the variable x command block from the math tab and change the variable name to show the clock to set it to the time mode and show the time. Drag the equal sign block and connect it with the block show the clock. Drag the zero block out and change the value to one. Because in computer language, zero represents no value and one represents has value. This set of commands is a clock that only shows time. If switch one is pressed, the function modes will be switched. That is, if the watch value is one, it will be switched to zero. If it is zero, it will be switched to one. This is another condition of the command. In this case, the if do else command is needed. When switch 1 is pressed, if show the clock equals 1, then change the value to be 0. Drag the set variable value as in command block under the math tab. Change the variable name from x to show the clock and set the value to be 0. In the else space, insert a constant block and change the value to 1. Add the delay block to let the machine process for 0.5 seconds. The function you get is using switch 1 to switch between time mode and stopwatch mode. Now you are done with the first task. The next task is for switch two, which will start and stop the stopwatch. How the command works is the same as for switch one. Duplicate the whole switch one command set. Just change the switch number and variables and add another X variable block. Change the name to be start stopwatch. When switch 2 is pressed, if the clock has not started running, the function will start. If the stopwatch is already running, the function will then stop. Now you are done with the two tasks. The last task is about displaying the results. The LED screen will show two kinds of results, which are a clock that shows the time and a stopwatch. Start with displaying the time of the clock. If you set show the clock to be 1, this lets the LED 16 by 8 scroll when ready block show the time block. To let the LED screen show the stopwatch, use the LED 16 by 8 two cars command block to show two digits as seconds in the stopwatch. The second command of the clock tab cannot be used because the clock will not stop running. Therefore, we need another variable of x to allow the clock to start and stop. Change the variable name to second. To be able to increase the value of seconds, we need blocks under the math tab. Make it second plus one. Then insert the value into the constant block. Connect the delay block with a value of one second. This command will increase the value of second by one for every second that the clock runs. Take these command blocks to the condition block. If it is in stopwatch mode, the value of the second variable will increase according to the amount of seconds that the clock runs. Drag the second command blocks to connect with the commands on the screen. Add a delay command block to let the board process before showing the result. It is ready. Try using it.
Oh, it starts in the stopwatch mode. But it works correctly. Press switch 1. It shows the time. Press switch 1 again. It switches to the stopwatch mode. It works well. Press switch 2. It is a stopwatch. The numbers run. Press switch 2 again. The numbers stop running. Press switch 2 again. The numbers run. You can measure the time. Press switch 1 again. It shows the time. Press switch 1 again. Oh, the stopwatch is still running. We forgot to reset the stopwatch. But it is okay. We have a reset button. Press it. Now it turns to zero. Actually, we can create commands to press switch one and reset the stopwatch to be zero. Or we can program it to be in clock mode at first after switching on the machine. There are various ways to code the switching clock modes. You can think up and write commands that are different from these ones. It's your homework. Let's crack, let's code with KidBright. <laughs>